Welcome! Welcome to Crazy Blessed Worship. I'm Coley D. And I am the original Rick W. Ross. We are so excited today. We have joining us from Nigeria, Heavenly Duwap. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us, especially so late Hello. your time. Um, we're so excited, you guys, because we got to meet Heavenly through Jay King, who we got to interview a couple weeks back, and he just came so highly recommended. And uh, so we're just we're gonna let you loose, Heavenly, and uh, anything that you would love to share, we would just love to hear it. Um, we'd especially just love to hear how you even got into doing music for the Lord. All right. Um, thank you so much, Chloe. Um, Mr. Ross, thank you so much for this opportunity and a rare privilege. I really don't take it for granted. Thank you so much. Um, firstly, I I think I started music. I grew up from a family that loves music and music is all around me since when I was little. But I think I, I took music seriously. I started recording in 2010. So that was when I got into music. But as a little kid, you know, before I knew there's anything as a recording studio, I know before I know anything as writing music, I used to express, especially when I'm joyful, when I'm happy, I express myself through music. When I'm just happy, I start singing off the top. I just start singing, maybe repeating a word or phrase, keep repeating it and jumping and dancing. You know, that's that's how far I can remember, as little as I think five, four. So music has been there. My mom also is an artist. She she writes, but she never had the chance or an opportunity to record a song because of the background she was coming from. She came from an abject poor background. So she never had the opportunity to record a song, but she still writes up till now. You know, so um and one of my one of my 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 dreams is to work on an album for her one day. That's one of my dreams. Yeah, so that's that's how it started for me. And then I think um, 20, 2010, um, when I graduated from high school, um, that was um, that was when I, I, I started visiting the studio. I met someone and we go to the ch uh, church, to the church. We make beats on the church keyboard and then we freestyle over it, freestyle over it. And when we get it done, then we'll try to do some menial jobs here and there, gather some little money. You know, sometimes we I go to the site and I help in um, packing um, stones and other things. Then from there, we raise a little cash. Then we go to, and pay for a studio session and then we record. So that was how it all started for me. Thank that you. That's incredible. You were you were doing yeah. music for the you were you weren't exactly singing for the Lord or writing songs about Jesus or anything like that until maybe some time later. So when was when did that happen? Yeah, that happened in 2017. That's like seven years in. I was doing secular music. I was into drugs, um, alcoholism, you know, and I've been into serious addiction, you know. So smoking weed and all. So um, I had an encounter in 2017 and all I wanted in my life was to work on a project. Like in Nigeria, there's a place, there's a state they call Lagos State. Like that's that's a commercial um, state of Nigeria and that's where music is. But from where I'm coming from, people don't really value music. So, you know, before you make it in music out here, you have to travel to Lagos or something. So I was schooling that time I was in my college. I was schooling, I, I studied theater arts. So what, while I was in school, I, I, I don't pay school fees because the, the money I have for my school fees is what I was using to pay for sessions, you know? And then we go from clubs to clubs, battling, trying to raise up funds because I was working on a project. I never wanted to go to Lagos. Other others go to Lagos even without a song, but I wanted to go to Lagos with an album so that when I go there, I know that, you know, I have something to show for it. I'm not just going to meet um, the promoters and the, the record labels and tell them that I do music, but I will have something to show for it. I will just give them my CD or something and then they will listen to it. So my demo. So I've been 
you know, struggling all to see how I can be able to work on that album. And I think I, I was able to work on it 2017. That was when I had it in my hands. So it was on my way to the school from Joss. That's where my state is to Abuja. That's, that was when I had my encounter. So it was more of like the story of soul. You know, it was more of like the story of Paul. I was on my way. And and and, and, and that journey was like when I get back to the school, because that was the year I was supposed to graduate from the university. So I was thinking, man, if I'm done with the university right now, from there, I'm going to Lagos. And I already worked on the CD. So it was on my way that I had an encounter with God. And then he changed everything for me. Yeah, so uh, my... my yeah, okay. Um, Like right now, I am in Abuja, in my friend's house, working on my new album. And then this same friend, was the person that I had an encounter in his house. You know, when I was traveling in 2017, I branched his house before going to school. I, I, I spent weekends in his house. So after spending the weekend, the day I'm leaving, I stepped out and then I saw a, a little boy. I'm older than him. And he was like, God, God has asked him to speak to me. Please, can I give him some meals? Can we go back to the house so that he will talk to me? And I'm like, it's fine. You know, so we went inside and then he started telling me, you know, about um, how special I am and how special is the gift that God has given me and how, how God wants to use me, that um, there are souls that God has created, you know, created me to reach out to. And then I, I, I have been stubborn, I've been this and that. So even when he was, I have been like a lot of prophets have been coming to my house since when I was in the, the secondary school. I think you people call it high school. So since when I was in the secondary school, the Lord has sent a lot of um, prophets coming to my house, you know, talking to my parents about me, about um, the gift God has given me and how he wants to use me. So I never believed that, you know, I never believed. But this guy, this boy that was talking to me, it's way smaller than all of the prophets. He doesn't even have a church. He's just a, a normal street boy. So when he was, you know, the, the Bible said that God uses foolish things to conform the wise, you know. So when he was talking to me, I was still feeling, man, this, this, they just want me to be doing gospel music. These people just want me to be doing gospel music, you know. So he understood that I wasn't believing him till when he started telling me about myself. Because that was the time we met with, he was telling me about myself, telling me about my past, the things I did, the things I love. You know, just for him to convince even what is inside my bag, just for him to convince me that it is the Lord that is talking to me. Right. So when he started saying that, man, that was that was when I got back to my senses. I think that was when I, I had the gospel call, you know. So he was like, it will look like you're starting from the scratch. You, It took you so long to work on this CD that you have, but you have to just let it go. And then work for you know work with God because that's that's what you're created for you know. So I uh, I went back to the school. I already had my CDs printed. I already worked on the album, printed the CDs, everything you know. So it was a a, a moment of 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 a very tough decision to make for me because man, this is all my dream. I've been dreaming about this CD. When I'm going to get this CD to go to Lagos, and right now that I have it, God is saying that I should dump it. No, so I think I dumped it and I called my mom. I'm like, Mom, I'm not doing this anymore. And she was like, Why? Why? Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing that she didn't do for me to 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 be doing um, music that glorifies God. But I didn't listen to her. So she was even surprised when I called her and I was telling her, Man, I think this is it for me. And she was like, What happened? So when I shared the same story I shared with you guys about how I met this boy on the streets. You know, he's a soldier now. He's not a pastor, he's a soldier now. So when I, when I was telling her about, okay, this boy that I met, this is what he told, she was like, if, he, if, if you're not um, convinced or convicted that this is the word of God, I'm not advising you to do what you want to do, even though it is what I have been praying for, that God would open your eyes to see you know, who you are and what he has created you for. But still, if you're not convicted, I won't force you to do it. So 
that was how the turning point started for me. Uh, but man, it took time. The addictions, it took time. Some took a year, some half a year, you know. From that time, that was when I started studying the Bible. I'll be smoking my weed and studying the Bible at the same time, you know. And it, was, it has been a gradual process, but to the glory of God, here we are. Yeah, so that's that's the, the, the uh, I think, the summary of the testimony that I have to share about that. So when did your name change? I mean, were you did you have a different name then, and now you have a new yeah, name now? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So where'd you come yeah, up with the name? the name? So how'd you come up with the a new name? name? <laughs> yeah. How did you come up with a new name, Heavenly? Yeah, Lord? I was, I was, I was using T D Y T D Y E before. So that was the name. It's more of like an like. So when I had the encounter, I I like it's it dawned on me. Like God put it in my heart to change my name because I know how powerful names are. So that was when I, I was thinking because I wasn't baptized that time. So I was thinking I need to get baptized. And if I'm getting baptized, I need a name that will represent God, a name that will glorify God, a name that would would, would represent what I do or my calling, you know. So from there... I think I I I I start and and the name that is not everywhere a name that I don't see anywhere, so that was when God laid heavenly in my heart because I it was the the name comes from okay, I I we are all heavenly beings here on earth, and then our we are here on earth to do the heavenly work, and then our when we know that after everything we are still going back to heaven, you know. So that's that's where the name comes from. That's where the name Heavenly comes from. And Dawap, it's my it's my um family name. It's my grandfather's name. Dawap is the family name. So that's how I got about the name Heavenly Dawap. Would you share with them what you were telling us in our pre-interview? What Dawap means? Yeah, Dawap means an uh, an intercessor or, or a middleman. You know, like um, from where I come from, um, there are people that they call Dawa in the village or in the community. And those people are like the intercessors between the community and the kings. When the people need something, those are the guys they will send to meet the king, to talk to the king, to kind of plead with the king, to kind of beg. Let me put that, beg the king, kind of. So they are, they are, they are more of like people uh, that people send to go and plead with the king on behalf of the people. So basically, that's the meaning of Dawab. And then uh, Heavenly Dawab means like someone that, that, that that's, is standing in between the gap for his community and his people with God. Yeah. I just think that's so cool. It is very cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. If, uh, since, since you have a new name now, and you were writing for the world, now you're writing for God. Has God given you new songs? Yeah, a lot of songs, a lot of songs. Like if you see my shirt, you see carry your cross, right? Right. Luke nine twenty three. You know when 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 I got saved, God started giving me songs, even in my dreams. Sometimes in the midnight, songs wake me up, and I'll start writing and all. So I think through that process, I I released a mixtape album titled Carry Your Cross. It's an uh, a mixtape album of twenty four songs. You know, title carry across. That was 2021. 2021. Um, 5th April 2021 was when I put out the album, the mixtape album, Carry Across. So even the name came, came from me denying self, denying what I want because self wanted uh, fame, self wanted money, self wanted to be famous, self wanted to have cars and have a lot of, you know, beautiful women, you know, you know what what what's in the head of the secular person <laughs> like uh you know what's in their head so you know and then looking at my family i always felt man i need to make this money to support my family because it's 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 hard to to see that your family are toiling and there's nothing you can do about it you know so it's like me denying self to carry my cross to follow christ you know denying the kind of music that i want den even the cd i sacrificed so the album is more of like when you listen to the album, it's not out there because it's on it's a mixtape. So um, it's not out there, but the album is basically my testimony. Like when you listen to the album from beginning to the end, it's more of like a testimony 
of how God, you know, moved me from darkness to light. It's awesome. So God has been blessing me with a lot of songs, and I'm also working on an album right now. Like sometimes I I I feel kind of depressed if I may put it that way because you have a lot of songs that man you don't have access to work on them on them or to put them out. But God keeps blessing you with songs almost every day, and then you know working on them is a problem because of the the tools that you need to work. You know, so like if it is songs. Thank God. It's expensive here. It's two thousand yes. dollars a song That's to get right. it mixed, wow. mastered, and all that stuff. Yeah. And yes. you know, people, a lot of people are like, "Oh, um, in America, the artists have a lot of money." It's like, well, not if we're recording our music. Maybe <laughs> you know, it depends. Yeah, on, yeah it crazy. can go viral, but. Um, yeah. I was reading Spotify had 160,000 uploads per day. Dang. And I'm like, you know what? I think the reason that we do music is just really, it is it is about God. Even if it reaches that one person that it needed mm, to reach. Mm, sometimes, you know, it's like, okay, well, that, that money came from God. That money goes back into it for God. And if it reached who he meant it to... I think that's what we need to focus on as Christian artists. Yeah. And yeah. Um, that's why yeah. I love you YouTube. Know. <laughs> that's free to upload your music onto. <laughs> and <laughs> you never know who's going to see your stuff that's on true. there. Um, true. Yeah, true. true. We interviewed you a know, girl. We know, that had you know, we like, we like, stuff yeah, we like two. With like $2,000 out here, you can be able to set up a mini studio in your house. Like, basically, most of the artists out here are having, um, just like I told you, I'm in my friend's house, he's having recording gadgets. So most times you see that um, an artist is having little recording gadgets in his house that he can be able to manipulate and work and put something up, you know. So we don't really pay that huge amount of money to, to work on a song out here. It is interesting getting to hear the differences in just being able to put music out in the different countries. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, like I know the UK is probably one that we really network with probably the most, I would say, from over here. And yeah. it seems somewhat similar there. But uh, you know, we have friends like Pakistan and um, the Philippines and, and they're like, your recording is crazy. <laughs> We have to agree. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Yes, it's outrageous to us. Though. I will say, if somebody is listening to the music of an artist and you appreciate it, it would not hurt to go check out their website and see if they have a place where you can help through PayPal or anything else because, you know, yeah. every every little bit helps. And um yeah, sure. Like I know you're talking about, you know, being able to support your family too. That's a cool thing. If if music makes it work for you to be able to do that, that, that is really, yeah. really incredible too. Um, where can people find you? Yeah, um, you can find me on Instagram, Yaron J Town. That's that's the name. I don't know if that will be typed out here. Um, and then on on Facebook is Yaron J Town Heavenly Dawap. So um, you can, I think those are the basic places you can find me. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all these links to follow along with Heavenly here. And I'll put them in the description of the YouTube video if you're watching on YouTube. Or else they'll be inside the private Facebook group, Crazy Blessed Worship. So you can make sure you can go look him up. Check his music out, you guys. Like, yeah. you want to jam out. <laughs> There's some great music to jam out to, but... Um, I, I was telling Heavenly earlier, I'm like, man, it is so amazing how fast you're able to get your lyrics out. That's impressive to me. And I felt like Rick had a question. Yeah, you know, I was just going to say one thing. Now, and before you finish, you know, here in the United States, we don't have the persecution, you know, that people in other countries have. But I know Nigeria is not a safe place to live as a Christian. Can you talk about that a little bit? heavenly uh about what you have to face you know on a regular basis there as far as persecution goes for, against christians yeah thank you 
Um, we face a lot of persecution out here, um, you know, especially from our Muslim brothers, you know, and some people are saying it's political, but we know it's jihad. So, like, um, it's becoming a norm out here that people get attacked in their homes, get killed, houses burned, little children slaughtered, women killed, men killed, old men, no one is spared. And then the houses are burned, properties burned, you know, it's 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 becoming a norm out here. And I think on the, on the 24th of December, 2000 and um, last year, that's Christmas Eve last year, there was an attack in a, a local government in my state called um, Bokos. So that attack, more than 13 villages were attacked in one night. And a lot of people, almost 500 people were killed in that night. So we had a black Christmas day last year. We didn't really celebrate Christmas and people are sleeping outside. You have to stay awake. You have to be um, security conscious. And also, this has, even last week, there was an attack in that same village. And even in my own local government, there has been attacks and then killings, houses burned, churches burned and all. You know, so it's been a crazy, crazy thing out here. But even the Christians now now are retaliating. You know that mocks. You see, you see them burning mocks also, and then burning the houses of the Muslims also. So from attacks, it was crisis. Then it turns to attacks, and then that's how it's been back and forth, back and forth. So it's really, really crazy out here. Like you can just be killed. There are areas. There are certain areas that Christians cannot go to. There are there are there are there are um ghettos that Christians cannot go to that when you get there then your your story is done. So that's how it has been here, man. Quite a while right now. Can we just pray for you in your country right now? Yes. Well, Father, we just we lift up the people of Nigeria. You see what's going on over there. Mm -hmm. You see the persecution. Mm -hmm. You see the hearts that are on fire for you. And we just ask you just to come upon them. Like you tell us in your word that the godly are as bold as lions. We just ask you to bless them with that boldness. We know that in Joshua 1.9, it says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And Lord, we just ask you that they cling to that and that they can walk out in that confidence and just take that fire that you've put inside them for you and just light everyone else around them up with that fire for you and just let it spread. Just break out a mighty revival throughout that country. And let them be able to reach people that they wouldn't even think that they could reach, Lord. Amen. We just ask you for your divine protection over them. Yes, and Lord. we thank you that we can trust Amen. you with everything Amen. that they need. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we pray and praise. Amen. 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 Well, I'm just honored that we get to be your first interview. I was very honored when I got to hear that. And I hope many people get to hear your message in your music. And um, you can be found on all major platforms right now. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So guys, go check him out. And I love it if you check out his, his social medias that we mentioned earlier as well. We'll also have links to his music for you inside the Crazy Blessed Worship Facebook group and in the description on YouTube there. And if you would just help out with a simple like, love, follow, share, this helps more than you know. If you're in a hurry and you don't have time to comment, a simple emoji will at least trigger the algorithm to help other people, you know, get to see what he's got going on out there. Um, and uh, anything um, that you have question wise, Rick, I just feel like you have something sitting on you. <laughs> <laughs> Before we have to let Evanly go. 
Well, yeah, I just know he's got some great songs on YouTube that I got a chance to listen to. He's got a great ministry to, to kids, and uh, you yeah. just, just go out there and check it out. I mean, he's really powerful. He's, he actually has kids singing on his songs, and uh, I, I was just really impressed. I'm really blessed by by hearing what you know his message was to them, and him communicating with these, and him at, in, in a church like getting the sing, sing songs with him. And how he encouraged them to do it. Just check it out. I think he's really, really powerful ministry that he has there in Nigeria. So please check him out, guys. And Thank Heavenly, you. is there anything on your yep. heart that you'd like to share with us before you hop off? Yeah, I think um I really need your prayers. And I have a ministry with the kids, just like um Ross shared, you know, that I work with the kids. Um it, it comes from a desire a burning, uh, burden that God has laid in my heart, you know, looking at my own story and where I'm, where I'm coming from, never having to have a mentor or someone that is going to, you know, teach me, someone that is going to show me a Christ-like, you know, artist in my life, you know, and then where I've been through and never having someone to encourage me, to teach me how to write because nobody taught me music. Like, it's basically, you know, um trial and error for me so uh that was that was a desire god laid in my heart and then looking at my story god laid in my heart to become that person that i wish i had and then um train the next generation letting them understand the reason why god has given them the talents he has given them and then how they can use it to the glory of his name you know to edify humanity and then to glorify his name so that was how I started. They are, they are called the Heavenly Kids. So we, we, we do meetings with them. We meet with, we do Bible study with them. We do instrument classes with them. And we do also do um, yeah, music writing and then discipleship with them. So they have been doing pretty well. When you check my YouTube channel, you will see a song, they, uh, a Christmas song. They, they, they recorded and they shot a video for it. It's on my YouTube channel. You can check it out. The title of the song is Jesus. It's a Christmas song. And then the kids are amazingly well. They are rapping. We have singers. You know, there are a lot of talents. And that's just one of the communities in Joss. So looking at how many people you can find, how many kids you can find with such amazing talents in just a community, how will it be if the whole city, every community, you know, we are going to raise such kids? How will that affect on the community because the community like the community we are working in is like one of the most notorious communities in my state and then there's a lot of drugs prostitution you know and the likes a lot of crazy things happening in the community so if if such things would be happening around the city then by the grace of god we are going to have a better you know, a better community and a better future for the kids. So basically, that's what I do. And we are we are seriously in need of partners, seriously in need of support to see because, you know, um, lack of partners and support, you can't really do God's work alone, you know. So we really need partners. We need supporters. You know, if anybody can come in to support in whatever way, our doors are opened, our arms are opened. Yeah. Thank you. I love that you do that. That is awesome. Well, we are going Thank to you. continue praying for just you and your country. Thank you for, for letting us know that we don't always get the news of other countries very completely over here. We we often seem to get partial news or, or oftentimes inaccurate. So it really does bless us to be able to get to hear straight from you. And um, Thank you. I just, uh, again, I want to encourage everybody, go check out Heavenly. He has really got a amazing ministry. And um, again, like, love, follow, share. We appreciate when you do it for Crazy Blessed Worship because it helps us lift up other artists just like Heavenly. And thank, thank you. you so much for joining us today. Heavenly Dwap, everybody. And thank you guys for joining us. And we wish you a crazy blessed day.